It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live as we wait uh, for the sun to come out and beam in on me here in our uh, uh, crow's nest uh, studio here. We're going to uh, have one heck of a show coming up that I'm very excited for. Tonight, we've got a big birthday blowout. It's one year for 5.45 Live, believe it or not. We're going to webcast from the streets. There's this strolling of the heifers thing going on that everybody's into. And uh, we'll get into some of the headlines. There was a tornado in there as well. All that and more. We're going to do it with grand style. We're going to jam-pack this next 15 minutes. So if you've got the time, stick with us here on 545 Live. This is what it's all about, these beautiful animals who do so much for us. 16 heifers coming down the pike. What a sweetie. So this is, this is a heifer-heavy portion of the parade. We'll be seeing the uh, oh, number Oh, it of is farms. called the Heifer Parade. Welcome back to 545 Live. One year ago today, uh, was, or one year ago really this week, um, we do it three days a week, so uh, the way it aligned, it was yesterday, uh, last year, uh, that... Uh, I was sitting at this very desk for the first time, almost as nervous as I am right now. Cheeks burning, just like they are. Of course, we weren't in BCTV's brand new HD studio, but 545 Live, our 15-minute nightly news roundup where we, uh, well, round up all the local news. Uh, try and do it in 15 minutes so that you can get over to the 6 o'clock news. We've been jam-packing it for a year with all the latest headlines, plenty more shenanigans, traffic weather, and the like. Um, we're uh, going to have all kinds of bests of recaps to celebrate uh, this, um, what I'm very excited for, a, uh, a retrospective show, looking back at the year. But we got to do the headlines, got to do our duty as well. Uh, there's this heifer thing going on, and it's quite the buzz. Uh, that includes the Slow Living Summit, which uh, began on Wednesday and uh, was a, a series of uh, lectures and plenary sessions from both the Marlboro Graduate Center and from the Latches. Uh, now, these uh, cam these uh, sessions were streamed uh, live from the Latches uh, and from the Marlboro Graduate Center uh, so that everybody could watch them online. And we showed them live here on BCTV as well. Uh, one of the uh, plenary sessions... Uh, that I was particularly excited for uh, was Governor Shumlin's. He just wrapped up moments ago. Here's what it looked like as we streamed it live on BCTV. One thing I remember when Governor Douglas was going out the door and I said, so tell me what I should know. And he said, you should know that you're about to lead your life in 20 minute intervals forever, seven days a week. And I'm kind of honored that my schedulers and others are letting me stay in Brattleboro for an hour and 45 minutes. So thank you to Slow Living for slowing me down. Slow Living heifers, uh, uh, just part of the, the punch. They lock down Main Street. That's another thing they do. Uh, Mr. Joe Bushy, can you hear me at all down there in that yeah, madness? You're rolling to see noisy down here on Main Street. I'm here with Cora Trowbridge, Executive Director of BCTV. All right, let hey, me... Uh, Put you up on the screen here for a moment. There we go. Now we walk right here on Main Street where they've got the street closed up. We'll do a little pirouette for you so you can see all around behind us. Very cool. All lady back there on the stilts. Now, uh, there's uh, a number of things going on, Joe, uh, including a flash mob now. Uh, often, when I think about a flash mob, I think of a surprise event, but this one has been well promoted. We've got a flash mob, we've got plenty of music. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on down there. Uh, and and uh, as you can see, we're getting a good look via uh, Skypecast uh, of Main Street as it's closed off here. Uh, of course, all the uh, strolling of the, the heifers action. Joe, uh, I don't know if you can hear me in the zoo of noise that we're hearing, but uh, you may have heard uh, one year ago, 545 Live kicked off. A good portion of that year, you were sitting uh, by my side here, um, and uh, we've got a, a 545 Live best of that I'm particularly excited for. We're going to touch back on the, this heifer madness in just a second, but uh, I want to just uh, do a little Joseph Bushy tribute as you uh, joined me here. 
on 545 Live, and uh, that's what we're going to jump into here. So, hey, there we go. Not Joe, Gordon, Joe. This, uh, this one's for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm Roland Boyden. Yeah, I'm going to say... If I wait long enough, maybe I will be alongside Joe Bushy as we are. 45 Live! There we go. I'm Rowan Boyden alongside Joe Bushy, and we're broadcasting. Uh, if you're going back out, you get that heavy volume. Uh, Putney Road looks good to go in all directions. I'll get you to roll this here teleprompter for a second. Oh, is... All right, uh, we'll head back to Main Street now. Let's, uh, let's take a look. How are you guys going? How's it, uh, how's it going down there? It's going pretty good down here, Rowan. Like I said, we're having a hard time hearing it from time to time, but uh, it looks like maybe the, the threat of, of rain, there's a lot of people, looks like maybe the threat of rain might have kept a few of them away, but uh, not too many for sure. It's, uh, the streets are full, and uh, I think we're close off until 9 o'clock here from Elliott to High Street on Main. Very for cool. our one-year anniversary. Yes, indeed, Joe. We just uh, watched, I don't know if you could hear in all the noise, obviously you can't see, but we uh, just watched a, a little best of for your clip there. All right, uh, we'll uh, move on and talk heifers a little before we get into this, uh, this retrospective show. Joe, thanks for uh, checking in with me from downtown. Very cool. Um, I'll look forward to a... Great show. Well, thanks for checking in, Joe. I look forward to another year behind the desk with you. Uh, you've been a, a lifesaver at times, just keeping uh, the show together. Take care. All right. Right on. We'll see you soon. See ya. Thanks a lot. And with that, we'll uh, move on. I mentioned uh, heifers. Of course, uh, the Strolling of the Heifers Parade, it began... <laughs> there they are behind me. Uh, it's just a few cows marching down Main Street, but uh, it's become one of the premier events in Vermont. And uh, we've uh, tried to make ourselves as much a part of it as possible here at BCTV, um, including uh, when we last year went live from downtown Brattleboro. Let's take a look. We're all here live on Main Street. They've closed down the street, and it's just a wild time here. Uh, so welcome to a special edition of 545 Live. Take a look at this. It's great. People it's are rolling wild. in right now, rolling. The street's closed. Hey, dude. Wave to the TV cameras for us, huh? All right, continuing uh, with the, the heifer fun here. Check out this, uh, if I can get uh, this sweet uh, over-the-shoulder professional news looking uh, animation over my shoulder. You can see all this heifer madness. There it is. Pretty cool. It's even uh, kind of shimmering there. If you can see, it's like a screen. Oh, boy. Uh, I do not have time for these shenanigans. We got a jam-packed show here, so let's talk heifers. Why not at this point? Uh, we've got uh, plenty of stuff coming up. Uh, think about all the stuff that they've got over there. If I can uh, just fire it up. Now, of course, this event started with the Slow Living Summit, but uh, it's become so much more than a, uh, just a, a parade. And, and even beyond that summit as well, there's the Tour de Heifer. Of course, the uh, expo that's going to go on uh, down at the uh, retreat who've kindly lent their space, and they'll have tons of stuff there. The New England Circus Arts is going to be there. There's going to be so much food, uh, just a, a really great time. And uh, the big message tonight as far as heifers go, rain or shine, everybody's heard uh, whispers, uh, the, the dark secret that rain may come. It's all, all of it still on. And, of course, BCTV will uh, be uh, in action. You saw um, following our like little opening animation a teaser, uh, a Footage from last year's parade hosted by Chris Grotke and Steve West. This year we've got Peter Case. Some of you know him as Fish on WKVT. And, of course, WTSA's Tim Johnson. They'll be uh, hosting the parade for us. It, uh, what looks like it'll be a bigger parade than ever. We're going to have five cameras there uh, whipping out all sorts of good graphics. So check that out. Uh, it'll be live tomorrow morning, BCTV Channel 8. That's this here channel you're watching right now. Okay. And with just a few minutes left, I want to make sure that we have plenty of time to continue on into some of the other things that uh, we were looking at. Um, as we talk about heifers, though, um, I want to just uh, get a few clips here. Um, and that includes uh, some advisory notices. Here's Martin Langeveld, who's uh, the general manager of, of the stroll, talking about something very important, and that's what to do with your dog. Dogs are going to spook the animals. Not your dog, but... Just Some dogs in general with your, dog animals. Your dog is a very nice dog, but it's the animal that might be spooked, even by a very nice dog. So, so don't bring your dog, please. 
Uh, and we'll wrap up the heifers with what I thought was a, a very nice quote from Orly Munzing, founder of, of The Stroll, when she was here in our downtown studio. Everything that we do with The Stroll and the Heifers is always a message about honoring your farmers, buying locally, um, leading a better, more respectful um, life that respects the environment that you're in. Part of the reason now that I am uh, as nervous as I am about running out of time as, as the clock ticks down here is that I've got a, a couple folks standing by live to help me uh, celebrate this show. Uh, that includes uh, BCTV Access Coordinator Frederick Noyes and Operations Manager Vlasto Papelka, who have uh, joined me here on the show several times. Um, Frederick, we're going to start with you if... Uh, if that can happen via Skype here, because he's actually taken time off from uh, his vacation to check in with us all the way down from Washington, D.C. Uh, Frederick, let's see, I just you, I just got to put you full screen here. Hold on. Uh, all right. There, well, there we, we sure go. appreciate you uh, joining us here from uh, across the globe, as I like to think of it. We're going to get your thoughts as we reflect on a year of 545 Live. You've had uh, the opportunity to sit behind the desk to see the... The magic happened, the show in action, you've been out in the field, you've done a lot of reporting from around the community with us as well. Uh, before we talk, let's take a look at the highlights. It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Frederick the Noise. <laughs> for all this time, I get your name wrong. Frederick No, yes, no. Hey, Roland, uh, Frederick, I'm up here in Burlington right now, and as you can see right behind me, um, some people are looking at something. Oh, and it's the president uh, running for re-election, according to WCAX. <laughs> it's all about fostering potential, and, you know, some of them are probably going to get into the field. Hey, do you feel that, Wasta? What the hell? What is it? Is it, it's, totally is it an no earthquake? No way, no yeah. way. Oh, my God. What's going on? A little bit of the work of BCTV Access Coordinator Frederick Noyes, who's joined me on many an occasion uh, on 545 Live, of course, uh, as we reflect back on our one-year birthday. Frederick, thanks again for taking a little time out of your vacation to uh, check in. I wanted to make sure we got you on the show after all the work you've put in after a year. Um, any thoughts as we, we look back on, on this time since 545 Live's creation? Well, Roland, you know, you, you, it's amazing what's happened in a year. You know, you've covered a lot of tumult and excitement and challenges and, and you know, every kind of natural disaster known to man, frankly. Uh, but uh, you, you've triumphed through all of it, and uh, it's been an amazing year, and I look forward to the, uh, the montage, and who would have guessed this a year later that we're in 3D? Thanks for checking in. Uh, we sure appreciate it. Uh, Frederick, hopefully we'll be back in the air to come to sit at the desk, uh, occasionally pinch hit from a good friend, Joe Bushy. Uh, another pinch hitter at times, operations manager, Vlasta Papelka. Now I got to just switch this here to uh, the select board meeting room, uh, but I, I got to get a similar split screen thing going. Uh, let's see. Nope, not on the Skype. Vlasta is just from the select board room. Uh, Vlasta, are you there? Let's... Uh, Let's see, what do I need to do here? There we go. Vlasta, uh, you're, you're live on BCTV. Thanks for waiting around in the select board room here. As uh, It was kind of the last place I could think of that's hardwired in as far as the location goes with all these interviews and things we've been doing. How are you? Perfect. All right. Uh, now, uh, any, any thoughts for us? What's kind of uh, what I've been, been trying to get people to say here as we reflect on a year 545 live? Uh, how crazy was this uh, as undertakings go uh, now, uh, looking back a, a year later? How crazy were we to try and take this on? It wasn't crazy at all. It was great. It was professional. It was well organized. And BCTV, it will never be the same without 545. Now, uh, Vlasta, you have been working tirelessly behind the scenes, as I often try to promote uh, at the end of, of each show. But you've done some work uh, in front of the scenes as well. Let's take a look. BCTV, can I help spiffy. you? Vlasta. Hello. How do you like this hat here? We love the hat. You Keep love it the hat. On. You know, I'm thinking about leaving it on for the duration of the show. Sounds great. Vlasta, when did you first decide that you were going to be uh, running for Sarah Edwards' recently vacated <laughs> seat? Rep seat. <laughs> that would be the best joke ever. Welcome to a very spooky edition of 545 Live. Now. <laughs> 
BCTV Operations Manager, Vlasta Papelka. Thanks for uh, joining us, Vlasta, from uh, down in the Battleboro Select Board meeting room there and waiting around while we try and get this show on the way. We sure appreciate it. And next time I will bark instead of meowing. There we go. Uh, uh, what, a, what a clip. Thanks, Vlasta. All right, uh, we just uh, got to wrap up here. Of course, the uh, powers that be have given us an extended edition. Why not? After a full year here, uh, we'll just wrap up our, our birthday party here, as I like to think of it, um, by uh, taking a look at uh, a, a year in review, if, if you think about uh, the, the many things that are uh, going on here uh, for our, our one-year celebration um, uh, a year of tumult, as Frederick Noyes uh, suggested there, I could talk and talk about what it's been like uh, being here on 545 Live, but uh, I, th I think perhaps better I just let the video speak for itself. Um, in particular, that seems uh, a wise choice in my mind. Um, so without further ado, or maybe a little further ado, while I make sure I have the right button here, Let's see, there's the first, first of two transitions. Take a look. And not exactly what I had in mind here. Let's uh, take a look. It's BCTV's Nightly News Roundup 545 Live. Do you have any predictions for us? No, I'm not into predictions. This is Brattleboro, Vermont. I'm on Flat Street here, and as you can see behind me here, the street is completely flooded. You have people up to their knees in water here, cars that are completely submerged. Route 9, roughly from Route 91 over to Bennington is closed off. There's flooding everywhere. I look at uh, the, uh, of course, flood, a lot more that's gone on at 545 Live and uh, some coverage there, which uh, went crazy on YouTube, kind of propelling this show into the next phase uh, during a really rough period for this community and, uh, of course, all of Vermont as well. Just a few things to wrap up here on this extended 545 Live, including weather. That's courtesy of BUHS-TV, the high school's morning news advisory program. Well, today it's going to be nice and peachy out. About a high of 76, low of 54, but this weekend it's not looking too good. See this, this all this green right here? It's tears of killing our weekend because it's going to rain all weekend and it is horrible. I know, I'm crying myself to sleep every night. Grind himself to sleep. Of course, that rain uh, is not going to deter all of this heifer madness. So again, if uh, it's looking drizzly out there, just find yourself a raincoat, maybe an umbrella. There's going to be plenty of shelter and awnings at downtown as well. So get yourself down to the strolling of the heifers, rain or shine. Uh, they're still going to be pulling out all the stops. All right, I'm well over my time now uh, celebrating this one year. Thanks, viewers, for checking in, watching us uh, three days a week for an entire year. We're going to hope to do it uh, for another year and perhaps another year after that. Uh, that's about uh, all I got to say here. So for BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden. Night, everybody. Thank BCTV. They've done an outstanding job. And for the staff and all the volunteers, thank you for all you do and provide for not only our community, but the surrounding communities. job. It's a real community service.